Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Archer nears completion of first midnight eVTOL. CAF's Rainier Squadron celebrates veterans' 100th birthday. Revitalized Enstrom sells 12 helicopters at Hella Expo. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Archer nears completion of first midnight eVTOL. Archer is heralding the final assembly of the first production midnight eVTOL. The company reports all major aero structures to include the machine's fuselage, wing, and empennage have been built and made it into a cohesive aircraft. What's more, a significant portion of the inaugural midnight's wiring, electronics, flight control system actuators, and additional systems have been successfully installed. Archer's development schedule calls for flight testing of the Midnight eVTOL to commence in mid-2023. The aircraft, currently nearing completion, will be utilized in preliminary intra-company ground and flight testing in advance of FAA vetting and type certification. In addition to the aforementioned specimen, Archer has begun manufacturing components destined for inclusion in a soon-to-be-produced Midnight conforming aircraft, the flight testing of which will occur in 2023's fourth quarter. Archer intends to build at least six conforming Midnight aircraft for use in the company's for-credit testing with the FAA in support of Midnight's eventual type certification. Piloted flight testing of subject conforming aircraft, which are to be constructed at Archer's San Jose, California manufacturing facility and integrated test lab, is slated to get underway in early 2024. Aircraft conformity certification and inspections are performed for purpose of verifying a given aircraft conforms to its type design certification and is configured to approved specifications. And after the break, Sky Angels Air Ambulance adds PAL-V flying car to fleet. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Sky Angels Air Ambulance adds PAL-V flying car to fleet. Sky Angels, a UK-based medevac company, has announced a partnership with PAL-V for the use of their Liberty flying car. The Liberty combines aspects of an aircraft with a terrestrial mobility of a traditional automobile, providing the best of both capabilities with access to speedy, ubiquitous road infrastructure. The PAL-V will see use as a fast response vehicle with paramedics and doctors able to arrive on scene faster and more efficiently to begin treatment sooner than any other method. Airbus looking for 800 new hires in Canada. Airbus has announced the availability of 800 jobs in Canada throughout 2023 as the brand ramps up production of the A220. The company plans to recruit 500 of them for new positions in nearly all areas of production, engineering, IT, and customer service. Overall, two-thirds of the additions will be hired into support functions, with the remainder working in production capacities. Specialties will include everything from helicopters and defense to space and commercial aircraft. Lockheed Martin resumes F-35 test flights. After an unusual incident involving an F-35, Lockheed Martin has resumed acceptance flight operations after a three-month hiatus. The issue has been fixed in Pratt & Whitney F-135 engines, addressing a, quote, rare system phenomenon involving harmonic resonance, end quote. 
After the solution was devised, DOD okayed further deliveries of the F-135 system. The fixes were referred to as a, quote, engine vibration issue, end quote, by the JPO. While the issue at hand is thought to be considerably rare, they recommend a uniform engine configuration throughout the F-35 fleet. Piper Aircraft resumes factory tours. After a three-year hiatus, Piper is opening the doors for visitors once again, granting an inside look into their production line. Attendees will be able to see a number of the brand's lineup in construction at any given time, with nine different models in the portfolio covering everything from lightweight prop trainers like the classic Archer, Seminole, and Pilot 100i to the more upscale and capable M350, M500, and M600s. The factory floor is the same one that's been home to Piper since the 50s, marking decades of classic American manufacture. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. CAF's Rainier Squadron celebrates veterans' 100th birthday. We must never forget who and what got us here and our responsibility to treasure it. A World War II vet got to go for a nostalgic ride aboard one of the commemorative Air Force's Stinson AT-19s, complete with a birthday celebration for his 100th. The ceremony included an honor guard flag ceremony and special guest speakers, with remarks by Nelms as he reminisced about his time with the 447th Bomb Group in Rattleston, England. Nelms enlisted in 1942 and was assigned to serve as a bomber pilot with the 8th Air Force. He joked, quote, I don't feel a day older than I did last night, end quote. For a moment, Nelms was 19 again, with a period-appropriate B-3 bomber jacket keeping him warm on a chilly February day. The CAF Rainier Squadron members were happy to celebrate their hometown hero's birthday, noting that Nelms was, quote, all smiles as he boarded the AT-19 for his flight, end quote. And after these messages, Revitalized Enstrom sells 12 helicopters at Hella Expo. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. Revitalized Enstrom sells 12 helicopters at Hella Expo. This is what a comeback looks like. Enstrom Helicopter Corporation has sold an impressive 12 helicopters at the Helicopter Association International's Hella Expo 2023. And some Vice President of Sales and Marketing, Dennis Martin, stated, quote, We came into the show with some very high sales expectations, and we are thrilled with the results, end quote. On January 30th, 2023, the first specimen of Enstrom's new 480B helicopter model took flight. The newly produced turbine-powered 480B was the 1,317th helicopter to roll out of the Enstrom factory and the 255th 480 series helicopter built. Enstrom stressed that the aircraft in question had not been cobbled together from an unfinished leftover airframe and surplus parts. Rather, it had been built using components procured, machined, fabricated, and assembled on site. That a new Enstrom helicopter had flown was fine news. That it had done so only eight short months after the company was wrestled from bankruptcy's dusty embrace beggared belief. New Enstrom helicopters will feature updated interiors and signature exterior paint schemes envisaged by renowned artist Dean Laux. What's more, newly produced 480B and 280FX models will be offered with a glass panel option. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.